All right, what is going on, guys? Pablo is back again, coming at you the showcase on the new Wings of Frost Zenith summons Sangdu taking Toshiro's. Uh, I was gonna say his unboxed, so his bankai. Now we do have Shang, Sangdu Kangdu. I always forget how to pronounce his name, and I'm always bad at it. Either way, as well as Justin Bieber Toshiro over here, and uh, yeah, I already got a glimpse of what these characters do. Toshiro looks absolutely busted. Uh, we'll start off with saying do is because that's what I pulled up first. 880 spiritual pressure, hollow killer. Now, these characters look like they're made kind of like, um, how's oh, the word I'm looking for? I feel like saying do is made for PVE, like normal PVE content, but Toshiro is 100% made for like guild quest, but he looks like he'll be good outside. I have not looked at this video yet, um, just like the skills. Excuse me. There we go. So going into saying do his soul trait is going to be status ailment, spiritual pressure boost plus 40%, which is kind of busted considering that you can like stack this on to literally any character. Excuse me. As a soul trait, which means you can have a character like um, frenzy plus three power Ichigo. And even if you don't get the 30% stat boost, the fact that you'll get status elements, spiritual pressure boost 40% on a character that can proc status elements very easily just sounds dumb and really busted considering that this is an end of the month banner for February. Uh, it is a leap year this year. So that's why we're getting it on the 26th instead of the 25th. Now going into saying do we have sprinter plus two as well as frenzy plus one on the gauge effect. So this character has gauge. He has start gauge at 70 percent outside of brave battles this character has sprinter plus one and frenzy plus two normally so he'll have sprinter plus three and a frenzy plus three when his gauge triggers not to mention that when you actually trigger your gauge you're also normally resetting your cooldowns uh doesn't look like he gets that oh never mind here it is gauge effect strong attack recharge 30 percent so he gets access to that but he also has gauge rampage so it's going to be a lot easier for him to pick up more gauge uh, i believe that this is like one to two percent every single time he gets a kill it's not really all that prevalent but in content like brawl quest where there's just a ton of enemies this pops off so fast that you literally just get your strong attacks back so quickly uh, going into the other stuff, he gets strong attack recharge 12% as a skill, so you're not missing out on any strong attack recharge there. Damage to frozen enemies plus 40%, so if you proc your status element, since he does have increased status element chance against power attribute enemies, you're dealing plus 40% damage here, and then you're also proccing your spiritual pressure boost of a 40%, along with your status element spiritual pressure boost of 80%. So this character is getting frenzy plus 2, berserker 50%, Status ailment spiritual pressure boost 120%. When you proc your gauge, you're getting another frenzy. So you're getting frenzy plus three, berserker 50%. So that's like frenzy. How much damage is that? Like if I just take raw damage numbers, like frenzy is times uh, two hits, right? Now, <clears throat> a character that has frenzy plus one with no berserker will deal like 200 damage, right? So what we're going to do here is we're just going to take this times three times 1.5 times one uh, 2.20 now without gauge this character has the damage of someone with frenzy plus nine that's dumb and then you <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i feel like caleb's kind of I, I don't know i feel like bbs is kind of just like they're just throwing out broken characters to just make as much money as possible which i get Gotcha games want to make as much money as possible, but releasing a character that once his gauge triggers, you have the damage of someone with frenzy plus 12 just sounds fucking, no, that's like frenzy plus, it's about two, it's like frenzy plus six, 100 times six, no, because that'd be six on, no, it'd be frenzy plus five, frenzy plus 10, be a thousand, yeah, no, it's like frenzy plus like fucking 12, bro, what? <laughs> <sighs> okay, it, I, I want to know what kind of kit that they're going to give this character that he deals that kind of damage. I'm not going to lie. And he's not a farmer either. So like, I don't, I don't see where you would need this type of damage outside of like guild quest and it's hollow killer week. So like, you'll, you'll pull push faster numbers, I guess. I feel like this is definitely going to be like a, you definitely want to summon. The banner is pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Izuru, Chojiro, uh, Takeyamamoto, 
Jugram, Bambietta, Aizen, Tekshika, Ichigo. The fact that a, a couple of these are already resurrected, which is pretty nice, and these characters will eventually get resurrected. Not really sure how well they'll perform post-resurrection. Uh, this Chojo is still pretty good, but like, let's be real here. This like if we like power creep is just so ridiculous that like is is this Chojuro even considered good compared to like the new characters? I don't think so. He has frenzy plus one berserker twenty percent versus frenzy plus three berserker fifty percent status element spiritual pressure boost one hundred twenty percent gauge mechanic strong attack recharge thirty percent on gauge like it just seems so excessive <laughs> it just seems so excessive oh yeah and then he's a multi-barrier plus two unit i guess to slow him down considering they're deciding to give him increased status element chance so it's easy to get your spiritual pressure boost and gauge rampage <laughs> am i the only one that thinks this is ridiculous maybe it's just me uh all right so going into toshiro uh this character obviously has freeze do you you get freeze too right yeah so he probably has freeze on all of his attacks now this character confuses the shit out of me because he has attack 819 then this character has flurry plus one but flurry plus two in guild quest then he has normal attack damage inflicted at full stamina plus 40 percent then he has start barrier plus 15 enhancer booster no barriers on this character so like you definitely want to bring a barrier unit but this character is going to be your boost and I think, I'll, I'll be real with you, just based on, like, just damage numbers here, Flurry plus two in Guild Quest, like, let, let's be real here, you're going to use this character in Guild Quest, right? He's a melee unit, going to have Captain Killer, so melee Captain's weak. Booster, so he's going to boost your team, and he's also going to get access to Enhancer. Star Barrier plus 15, so he's going to be able to protect himself for quite a long time. A lot of, Star Barrier plus 15 in Guild Quest is kind of nuts, like, that's going to last a long time. It lasts 20 seconds off rip, so you're, unless you're clear, if you're clearing very quickly, this won't run out, probably, if you have good crowd control. But in terms of just damage, right? Flurry plus two in guild quest, killer effect plus 50% in guild quest, melee damage plus 30% in guild quest, then you have long reach plus 20%, which is nice, but bruiser 50% with flurry plus two, plus normal attack damage inflicted at full stand plus 40%, which is going to be easy to keep for the most part, thanks to the start barrier plus 15. I feel like the timer will run out on the barrier before you actually lose the barrier as long as you're using a good crowd control unit, which could be good. Um, And then this character has uh, this character has poise, which I don't think he needs with the barriers, to be honest. Marauder, dodge, soul reaper damage plus 50% honestly i didn't even see honestly i didn't really make note of that but yeah no he's not losing those barriers yeah he's he, you'd have to fuck up really bad to lose those barriers that's all i'm gonna say uh normal attack damage uh like like what, what, what's what's the type of damage here right times uh three because flurry plus two in guild quest times 1.5 times um melee damage 30 percent in guild quest like flurry plus like four damage bruiser like 20 percent if you want to like be a little uh excessive i guess yes i mean th this this is crazy good damage all right either way uh he's gonna be a melee character he has marauder as well so in pve content he should be fine uh because he'll have guard break nullify melee resistance same dude you did you have sharpshooter oh you didn't have sharpshooter he, he has frenzy plus two he doesn't really need it in my opinion, damage to frozen enemies 40%, spiritual pressure boost 120% just sounds so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> uh, either way, let's just get right into it and see what's up. What's up, Oliver? How you doing, baby? I hope you're doing a good. I hope you're doing well. Wings of Frost, which we're releasing on the 29th of February. The first character in this summons is Toshiro. The Toshiro art looks really good. Toshiro is a power attribute In Increased normal attack killer. damage 40%. The trait can be strengthened. When's the last flurry Toshiro that we got? I don't... Attack damage 40%. He is a melee, normal attack type character. I don't remember the... Second strong attack provides a boost. I remember the last. While the rest of his attacks can inflict freeze. His innate skills are Sprinter plus one, Dodge flurry. Soul Reaper damage 50%, and Marauder. We've never gotten a, a Nad Toshiro, really? Now, 
Less Maybe a hybrid. I know f f the furry Toshiro was so kind of like nad based. Flurry in guild quest plus two. New skill and flurry skills. plus two, but only in guild quest. quest. So you should have just given him flurry plus two. To be honest, <laughs> like we don't need a new we'll skill called flurry plus two in guild quest. It just sounds dumb. It should have been flurry plus three. If you're gonna be ridiculous, you might as well be ridiculous. Attack damage plus forty percent and his skill start barrier plus fifteen. He can also progress through quests swiftly, as his second strong attack provides a boost, and he can learn the skills Enhancer and Booster. Next, let's look more closely at his attacks. Here are the normal attacks. His normal attacks are a string of four men- Note that they never showcased him losing his barriers. Here- Like, they literally timed Next, it here let's... at 50 seconds. I think it's- No, it's not 70 seconds. Is it 70 seconds? Either way, they time they time they made it timed here closely. just so that it like did never Best run out. Attacks. Here are the normal attacks. His normal attacks are a string of four melee attacks. Look more closely. Uh, here he looks like he's actually geared up as well. You see the twenty seven hundred. So they actually put gear on him uh, in this guild quest, but then Best they decided attack. to make him naked for this type of showcase. String of four right. melee attacks. The third hit is an AoE around himself. That's really good for Guild Quest. Now for the strong attacks. His That's really good, attack actually. The Just in general. Forward. Um. Surrounds the character and attacks forward. That looks like the twelve hundred shotgun Here blast. The second strong attack. That's good. This attack creates a That's good. A, boost. a walking vortex is excellent on a na on a melee knight character. That's really good. I like that. And yeah, it's tied to his, his strong boost. Attack. Strong attack three deals damage around the character. This is a cool strong attack. Interesting. It looks like a full screen, but it looks wavy. But Finally, like, if you notice, the character. Oh, never mind. It's like a wave outwards. That's really weird. This looks like a new attack. Like, look, this is the first wave, and then. And then, like, a second wave of damage. Right. What the hell? Like, if I slow this down... That's so weird. One, two, three... Hmm. He's level 200, but it doesn't... It doesn't look like his flurry is procking here. Oh no, it's a strong attack. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm like, why is it? I'm thinking frenzy. I'm so used to him being an SP based character. That's a weird strong attack. Finally, his special move. Rokui Hyoketsujin. Rokui Hyoketsujin. That looks so good. Oh, dude. Oh, that's cool. All right. I like that. that that's cool. Swang Du, how do you pronounce it? Chiro. And now for Swang Du. Swang, Swang, Swang. Swang Du is a speed attribute character with hollow key. I apologize. His soul trait can be strengthened <laughs> to state to ailment spiritual mm -hmm. pressure boost plus 40%. He is a melee, strong attack type character whose second strong attack provides a barrier, while the rest of his attacks can be I like how he's in bond kind of form. That's so dirty. With the use of a strong attack, he will receive Caleb's dirty for this, I'm not gonna lie. Plus two and Frenzy plus one. Here's a list with the rest of his skills. Now, let's see this character in action. He can fill his gauge at the start of the quest with ease, thanks to his skill, start gauge, except in brave battles, 70%. He will also inflict great damage to enemies that have been inflicted with a status ailment, thanks to the new soul trait, status ailment damage to enemies. Look at that. that Wait. That have been inflicted with a status ailment, thanks to the new soul trait, status ailment. Hmm. Damage to enemies. I'm confused because this is plus eighty percent, but the forty percent doesn't pop up. So I don't know how that's gonna function. And his skills. If it doesn't stack. And damage to frozen enemies forty percent. Plus, it can provide an even stronger barrier. If it doesn't stack with 
Spiritual pressure boost 80%. Why would you put it on this character in particular? Why didn't you just give him, like, Berserker 70%? That's weird. I don't... It's weird. I don't, I don't get it. Is that a beam? Caleb just want, wants you to nut, bro. There's no way. <laughs> Caleb's trying to milk as hard as they can before anniversary, huh? Strong attack two deals damage while pushing forward. My issue right now is just like, they come out with these garbage mid month characters, these yeah, mid as fuck end of the month characters, and then they come out with some broken ass shit every like three months. I get that you you don't want people to burn all their Finally, resources and burn their wallet every month and stuff. Oh, dude, look at his face. And that wraps it up. That was cool. Bankai. Like he looks kind of like indifferent, right? Bankai. Like he looks indifferent here, but once Bankai. he hits the bankai, you can see like the determination in his eyes. I I like that attention to detail instead of just having him dead inside while he's attacking. I like that. that That's cool. But but oh look, here it is. One twenty percent now. Why does that trigger differently? It, it's not a gauge effect, right? Is your spiritual pressure boost a gauge effect? No, it's not. I don't understand why that triggered it, but before it didn't trigger it. Uh, I, I mean, to, to be fair, this is development footage, so it can be buggy. So you always have to take this type of footage with a grain of salt. But for the most part, it tells you what like the characters are going to be. I, I like the characters. I think that they look great. My only real concern is just the power scaling when it comes to these characters. Like, if you just look at the characters that, that came out recently, right? Like the Momo, Mashiro, and Raruka, they're a little bit busted. They're not like crazy. They like so actually I, I'm I'm not even gonna lie. I I don't remember many of these characters at all. Like the Soifon, Shunsui, and Eisen banner, completely forgettable. Yuha and Ichigo are pretty busted. The Yachiro, Yachiro Grimjaw Nell banner was kind of mid, but Nell was great for guild quests. And I, I get that Caleb's trying to like monetize guild quests a bit, but I feel like that's my issue right now is like, I kind of just log in, I do guild quests, and then I don't log in for a while. I think I have like 15 days log in this month, and it's just because I have nothing to do. Even if I do the point event, what am I going to do? Get Brave Soul tickets for like these mid-month characters that no one gives a shit about and i that what was last mid-month like ikaku i'm trying to pull it up ikaku shuhei and iba but they're like not even remotely in my opinion desirable for me to get ikaku is a good character for guild quests but it's just really weird for me. Like, I, I love Senju Maru because they made her a farmer, so she's playable, like, you know, everywhere. And, of course, they made uh, Ichibei kind of busted. But, like, he doesn't farm anything, so the only time you really use him is, like, I just want to tear some ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a Riley Reed porno. It's just, it's just it's like, it's like, all right, I might as well, you know, pop up a OnlyFans page or something. Um, yeah, but, but that, that's kind of, like, where I'm at with BBS. Don't get me wrong. I, I still get excited to see these characters. Whenever I see broken, 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 broken characters, I just go back and think of the characters that could have been busted and then aren't, even though like people would like to summon for them. Like if, if this Akaku, damage to enemies not afflicted by an element 30%. If he had damage to enemies not afflicted by an element plus 100% in his actual kit, this character would be great. He'd be actually really fun to play too, because I, I remember his kit being pretty. Uh, I don't remember his kit actually. Lunge beam 3k yeah it's not even a crazy op kit but it is a fun it looks like he'd be a fun character to play but i have no reason to summon for him because he's not op like why am i gonna play this mind ikaku when i can play the mind um yuha i know is busted as not uh, pretty fun to play i don't i didn't pull nini bro i never i i got fucked so hard on the nini nini noel white dude white is so busted bro I don't know. Maybe I'm not making sense. Y'all let me know in the comments below. But anyways, uh, I'm going to end this video here. Y'all have a great day. Stay blessed, y'all. See y'all in the next one. For those that don't know what I've been up to, I haven't really been uploading too much. I have been playing Tower of God, but that's not really the games that I play. Like, Tower of God is kind of, it's an AFK type game. 
I've been playing uh, Modern Warfare 3, which is pretty bad because it's toxic as hell. Uh, I started playing a bit of Soul Hackers, and I started Remnant 2, which is kind of like a Dark Souls-esque gun shooter game. But I've been playing with my wife and one of my friends, uh, so that's been fun. And um, I do want to get to Persona 3 Reload. I didn't play much other than about one and a half hours, which honestly was like 30 minutes. And I did play a lot of Power World. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too proud of my Pal World gameplay, considering I haven't played in over a week, which means that in like the first month, I put like four days worth of like. I'm not going to talk about it. Y'all have a great night. Stay blessed. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.